This is Jason Cartaglia and I'm here at Burns and & Sawyer and this is a first look at the Panasonic EVA 1. It's a 5.7K sensor, 4K recording camera, records on SD cards. It's a very small package and a very powerful camera. Before we get into the EVA 1, let's talk about how Panasonic got here. Back in 2002, Panasonic shook the prosumer world to the core with the DVX100. It brought 24P and film look color science to the masses. Since then, there's been hits like the HVX200, but mostly missteps. While DSLR shooters were taking over, Panasonic released the AF100 and DVX200. EVA1 with the Super 35 sensor, Veracam LT color science, and a modular system looks like a major step in the right direction. Now the EVA 1 fits in a place in the uh, uh, Panasonic landscape between the GH5 and the Vericam LT. So this is an $8,000 camera competing with cameras like the uh, Sony FS7 and the uh, Canon uh, C200. One of the unique powers that this camera has is the ability to take pretty much strip everything off the camera. The grip, the viewfinder, and you're able to strip this down to a very small form factor. And all the functions are accessible through this. You've got your audio controls, got all your image controls here. This is where you can put the two SD cards, time code, SDI out, headphone jack, the proprietary LCD plug, HDMI, and then you got some ports here. The ability to break it down to kind of like a three pound, I don't know, three and a half pound package allows you to fly it on a drone put the camera in places where you wouldn't normally have to be able to put a professional 4K camera. So I think there's a lot of power in this very cool small form factor. Another great quality is Eva's color science, which borrows heavily from its Vericam big brother. It renders skin tone very nicely. Eva one also carries another Vericam feature. Panasonic calls it dual native ISO. It, it runs at 800 ASA, and 2500 ASA. It's a way to extract excellent low light performance without adding grain or degrading the image. I seem to be selling this as a 5.7K camera to separate itself from the competitors. However, the 5.7K sensor puts out a 4K image onto the SD card. So truly, it's a 4K camera right now. However, they're saying that future updates will enable a 5.7K recording from the SDI port. The advanced frame rates, like the 240 frame per second records at 2K with a micro four thirds crop. So super slow motion, while effective, is not up to par with its Vericam big brothers. It's a really good camera that shoots raw and fits into the Vericam infrastructure nicely. However, it's not perfect. The menus are clunky. The touchscreen panel is not good with a lack of brightness, especially during daylight. And the touchscreen has a very cheap build. If you're a professional shooter, you will require aftermarket accessories, viewfinder, power backs, cages, and support systems so you can use this like a real camera. Panasonic EVA 1. Uh, special thanks to Burns and Sawyer for allowing me to uh, get my hands on it and uh, I'm gonna go out in North Hollywood and uh, shoot around. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you subscribe and leave a comment below, one of you lucky people will win a Burns and Sawyer hat as worn by Seth Rogen in The Disaster Artist.